Today I'm going to show you the difference in watercolor paper. On the left we have Canson, cheap, $6 for 30 sheets at Walmart, and on the right we have Arches, which is pretty pricey. It was, I think, $25 at Hobby Lobby for 12 sheets, and with the 40% off coupon, I think it ended up being like around 15 bucks. But I just recently started with watercolors, and whenever I started, I did not know the difference between um, the quality of paper. I knew there was a lot to select from, but I didn't know what the difference was. So today I just want to do a simple basic pumpkin on both pieces to show you the difference in the way that the paper absorbs the water. The way that you can move the paint around on the paper and the overall detail of each picture you're going to get. So let's start with arches. When I brought home arches for the first time, I noticed immediately how absorbent the um, paper was. You can see that you can you move the paint very well. The paint spreads out very well and evenly. Whereas on the Canson, you get pulls of paint. See? It doesn't like to spread out. As much as you try to mess with it and move it around, it just doesn't spread out the way that the arches does. Okay. So, I'll turn next time. Arches is a lot easier to work with whenever you make a mistake. It's more forgiving, that aspect. Okay, so immediately off the bat, you can tell that the paint just puddles up on Canson. On Arches, it distributes, it soaks in, and spreads out really evenly. Where with Canson, if you can tell, it has these spots where it'll just kind of fan out in a very, my personal opinion, very unattractive way. Her arches just bleeds out evenly. So now that that first layer is done, I'm going to go ahead and work on the stem. 
while the rest of it dries and show you how on arches arches is a very um, toothy paper where Canson is very smooth and doesn't like to um, grab the paint as quickly so on arches you can make a line so here's the stem normal stem you can spread it out pretty evenly and it's going to dry and it's going to stay there well, with Canson you go to make straight line and fill it in it has a tendency to spread beyond that first line that you put down so once that stem dries and we put the second layer on you'll really be able to see what I'm talking about Another thing with arches is your lines, if you get, if you want smaller, more detailed lines, they're going to be more precise. So if we want to put a, a vine on this stem, let's say, could add in a very precise little vine. Where with the Canson, you're not going to get as small, detailed line as you would want with arches. And again, same right here, this is puddling up instead of spreading out the way that I want it to. And a lot of some of that, a lot, some of that has to do with the fact that my paper is buckling inwards. This is still a little wet, but we're going to go ahead and go in with our darker orange to show you how these will layer up once they've dried just a little bit. Kind of burnt sienna in there, make it a little darker. It was still, it was pretty dry. I thought it was still a little wet, but it's pretty dry by now. Which is fun. And it's just going to bleed out. Pretty evenly. This one is going to be harder to get it to bleed where you want it to. Just doesn't want to do. Another thing about it is the um, the arches holds the color. The Canton doesn't hold the color very well, so the color just kind of fades away.
vibrancy of the paint in this one, where this one it just is gone. There's no um, no color left in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some shadows to the bottom of each pumpkin. This is drawing out on the arches. Canson is still a little damp because it just doesn't dry as fast as the arches does. Arches is really quick to absorb the water. And see, with this, if I want if I don't want these little spots where it frays out. I can go back and I can fix that. And on the Canson, you don't get that option. It just kind of sits after it's been settled into the paper. And I can smooth out these. But then you get over here and it, you can't push the paint around like you can on the arches. So I want to add a shadow on the stem, so I'm going to go in and be careful about it. I'm going to push that paint around just a little bit. but it holds its place. And then you have over here on this stem, put the shadow on it. Push it around. And then let it dry. Okay. I'm going to go in with a third layer on the pumpkin. Just to add a little bit darker of a shadow. The bottom. And it's still wet, so it's going to bleed out. Mm, these dots aren't as wet. So I'll we'll just push it out. And I like to have more detailed paintings rather than, because Canson could be good if you're wanting to make some abstract pieces or, yeah, this isn't as wet. And I use a darker brown on accident. That's okay. Mop it up a little bit. And be back as supposed to be. Um, Canson is a good paper if you're wanting to do just a simple abstract piece. They are the abstract pieces usually use a watercolor effect, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And you want, some people want to see the different layers and the watercolor effect on their paintings. So with the stem, I was trying to tell y'all was right in here 
And on the edges, you can see that there was two layers put on. Whereas with this one, you can't. I mean, it's still a little bit there, like up here. And, but it's not as much as this one. So, my personal preference is arches. I will use arches for just about everything. I have a whole pad of Canson that I'm not going to put to waste. So, I will use it for doodling or little projects like this. If I'm going to paint something for somebody, I'm going to choose arches over Canson. Hands down, all the time. But I'm not going to waste my Canson paper. I will use it. And... I think it is a good paper for people that are looking to go more of an abstract abstract direction or wanting to just kind of play around and doodle, but it's not my first choice in paper. Thank y'all for watching the video and I hope that this helps y'all make a decision on whether or not you want to choose in expensive paper over a cheaper paper or vice versa don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below let me know if there's anything else that y'all want me to do a video about